morning everybody, we're back for another sketch session. I've switched my table around so the lighting might be a little bit different, I'm not sure, but anyway, this was the one that I did last, well not last session, but my own, you know, sketch session, non-recorded, um, and that was another one as well. So we're getting there, still got plenty of pages to go through, through this sketchbook, but um, we will get there. <laughs> we will get there. I've got plenty of sketchbooks to finish this year. Okay, so today I've got horses because I just, I don't know, I just feel like I need to do some horses. Um, horses cheer me up. <laughs> Not that I need major cheering up, but you know, we could all use, we could all use a little bit of cheering up. So I'm going to be using charcoal pencils. Um, I may use the eraser, I'm going to let myself, because I, I just want to let myself do what I want this morning and you should too with your sketch sessions. So I hope you've got your references ready, if not you can, if you can see the ones that I've got on the screen you can use the ones that I'm showing. Okay, so let's go for the first one. What I'll do is I'll just let the timer run to see how long, you know, just to gauge how long I'm going to take on each one but without actually um, setting a time limit. So if I go over, it's fine. And I'll zoom in a little bit. Oh, it looks like that's all we're going to get for as far as zooming in. One of these days I'll get a better camera. All right. So let's start with the first horse. I'm going to start with the Palomino. I do, sometimes I sketch... Um, very like with a wandering pencil line and I do enjoy that and other times other times I find that I um, I just go for the straight lines for some reason I don't know why but for some reason the straight lines are a little bit easier to handle when when especially when starting out trying to put everything together really trying to get that to go on its side but there we go to get that lovely the flat side of the pencil but I need to because I just sharpened it I'm not going to get that that's fine So when I'm looking at this reference, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to simplify as much as I can. I do have trouble simplifying. I do have trouble filtering out all the details. Just to let just to let anyone who's watching know that it is a big issue for me. I don't know why I'm shading so much. How was everybody's weekend? It's very, very hot where I am. I think it's up to 34, 35 degrees today. In my, in my, um, where I live. And that's freaking hot, freaking hot, I tell you. <laughs> it's 
It's too hot and muggy outside. Can't do anything. It's terrible. Even in the morning, you know, unless I want to get up at the crack of dawn, and, and I, I have trouble getting up at the best of times, so I'm, I have to be honest with myself because that's just not going to happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not going to be able, I'm not one of those people that can get up at the crack of dawn, at least not yet. I'd have to go to bed at, I don't know, 8 o'clock <laughs> in the evening to get up at the crack of dawn. But, uh, well, I don't know if I'm going to bother with this part down here. I'll just. You know, I use this as an opportunity to practice some of my line pencil pencil marks. Our mark making. Oh, I just made that eye too big. <laughs> I just fudged it. It doesn't matter. Well, maybe I can fix it up. We're five minutes in by the looks of it. The sketch session might last a little bit longer than most. I'm not really worried about it. If it is. Just FYI. Let's see if I can fix this up. Very squinty. Yeah, I think I'll leave it at that before I um, <laughs> before I mess it up again. That'll do. So that was our first one, and I I'll call that six minutes. So what I usually do these ones is I'll just put one, six, reset our clock, get ready for the next one. Now we'll do this, I'm going to do this running one because when I chose this, because when I look, choose, when I'm looking at references, I'm trying to also choose a good silhouette and this one has an okay silhouette but the thing that I wanted to practice with this one is with the legs because because it, the horse is foreshortened and it's coming towards us I just thought that would pose a little bit more of a challenge in trying to sort out the silhouette so that's what my goal is for this next one that I'm going to be doing just need a drink first all right this 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 sketch session this morning is just a little bit of quiet time for me so you know getting over the weekend oh oops let's start this up all right so the general direction of, of the whole thing is going this way let's just put that in very lightly Let's put the head up here. Let's reserve the space for the head. And then we've got the body, which is foreshortened. The neck. And then this horse is going this way. Trying to get the shoulders in. I 
Right. So I might just draw this. I'm going to use the blind drawing practice to start out with. Alright, a bit weird, but it's something different, you know. We're gonna try we're gonna try different things. Okay, so Yeah, it's a bit off. That's alright, because that's actually the back leg, because I'm gonna I'm grouping these two legs together, the front and the back. And I'm trying to do my best to see it as a single shape. Wasn't that far off? Now let's see if I can fix this one up. I actually might just so there's a little bit of separation here. There we go. And this is the challenge that I wanted to take on with this with this pose, with this horse. <coughs> it's a bit different. It's a bit different in the way that we, how we can treat it. Alright, because we've got one here, and that's going that way. So this one is down here. Just trying to judge the distance. I know I know I'm a little bit off, but hey, it's you know it's my morning sketch. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. All right, go back, fix this one, because this leg is coming forward here, but it's behind, so it blends in quite well. with what's going on here. There we go. Just trying to work it out. Because I'm not really up on my horse anatomy. It is something that I, I, I did start to look at, but then life got in the way and, you know, as it happens, it just, sometimes these things just fall to the wayside and that's something that fell to the wayside. So that's the back leg and the front leg. I think I've made this out of proportion, but that's that's okay. I'm just going to sketch the rest of it now. Really, I, the only I just wanted to practice doing that, even though it's not accurate. It doesn't really matter. Because I can see that I've made the neck too short should be up here or maybe it's the head that's too big let's see what we can do to figure this out right put a box for the end of the nose there so that goes up like that so we've got the eyes across here
I'm taking way too long on this one. It's all right. I actually think the eyes should come up here a little bit more. Dark to light, dark to light. Not that that really helps. <laughs> Let's just darken this whole bit in the front here. Once I've got a shape that I want. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's let's just put the back legs in because I'm I'm wasting a lot of time here. So I'm just looking at the negative shapes. Now this back leg especially this back foot is actually in front goes from behind to in front it was a really hard pose really picked a challenging one that knuckle is actually closer Is it? Oh no, it's right behind. It's really hard to see. Yeah, I think we're just about done. Ten minutes. That was a long one. So two, and that was ten. All right. Let's pick another one. Let's see. I might get uh, this other horse head in. I might get that in here. Try and do this one almost. Okay. The blind one and then we'll work from there. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Oh, I can't really rub it out either. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay, let's look at look. I want to look for the shapes. So we've got the eyes, the forehead, the little ears. I'm 
cheekbone. So with the top one it was more linear and with this one it's a little bit more sketchy. But I've spent so much time on the last one that I, I, I kind of want to rush this one a little bit. Just practicing with the hair a little bit there. All right, that'll do. Five minutes for that one. It's not really nice. I can't say that's a nice horse. <laughs> I'm gonna go on. Um, all right, let's do one more. I want to do this lovely, it looks like an Andalusian.
So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let me just. All right. Oh, yep. All right. <laughs> I forgot the, the time is running. Okay, so we want the body to be here. My charcoal is so messy. I can see all of, all my fingerprints. Actually, let me just box this out. I don't really I have to make it a lot smaller. So that it's heads here. This looks like it's been photoshopped within an inch of its life. Well, that's the thing. I, I'm starting to find it hard to tell between um, AI or you know, um, yeah, AI images or or real ones. And that's that's kind of depressing, really. It's, I don't want to be questioning everything that I see on the internet, but now you really do have to question everything, every little thing that you see on the internet because it's just, you, you can't trust people. Other people don't have your best interests at, at heart I'm telling you right now. Most people. I can't let this grow because I've got no room. So I'm just trying to put it in as pieces. Got a funny feeling the legs are going to be a little bit too short. This is so heavily photoshopped, but that's fine because it's just a sketch, so it doesn't really need. have it all. Make that too, too, too big. Right, let's go on to the end. I'm actually wondering if this whole horse is photoshopped. Like I said, that's fine because sometimes it's just we're just sketching, so it's just we don't need the full picture. We just need an idea 
for us to to follow. Which is why with my morning sketches I don't mind if the picture is blur a little bit blurry or is in really low resolution. Because I'm not making I'm not trying to make an exact you know photocopy of what I'm of of the reference. I'm trying to I'm trying to sketch That head looks wrong. Let me zoom out a little bit. This headdress that it's got on looks like it's been photoshopped. Because it's very rare to have a, um, a bridle that has a front piece that sits like that. I mean, I have seen them, but for it to s sit like that in the actual reference, it's, it's not common. So I might actually... Yeah. I'll just put a little bit of the taking a bit too long with this one too and haven't really gotten that far. But sometimes that happens. But it's just my morning sketch. So I'm not too worried. Because I think I might do some more blind drawings today, after a little bit later. I might do some blind drawings. I might do the horses. I think. I think that might be fun. All right, I'm done with this. I think. thing there. That's not in the reference but it's a fancy horse so we're going to have a fancy fancy reins. <laughs> nine minutes so that was four and nine so that's how I sometimes I'll, I'll do my morning sketches I won't actually set a time limit I will just set I will just time each one and then write down each one but I kind of wish I did it in pencil because the charcoal just makes such a mess but yeah that's what we've got for today. Today's the 22nd of the first, whoops, 24. All right, I'll catch you next time. Keep drawing everyone. Terrible lighting. I'm in the same room. I just changed my desk around because the glare was hitting my computer monitor and it was annoying the shit out of me. So.